that's not freaky at all, is it? Islanders, you absolute weapons. Welcome back to another wild camp. We're after it again, and it's summer solstice tonight. I'm out with the lad. He's got his backpack on, haven't you? <laughs> He's carrying his own stuff tonight. But well, yeah, we're back in Laxey, the most beautiful bay. And as it happens, I've got the ultralight backpack loaded with a tent and a bivvy, and I'm heading to a woodland area. Right now, I don't actually know what I'm gonna do. I have a very loose plan, other than having the dog, a GoPro and a drone. I've got no other plans. Put it out there on Instagram, so you guys are gonna be the ones deciding what exactly it is I'm doing tonight. So let's see. Well, lad, let's go. Oh, but it's looking lovely. Just stop for a breather at this uh, beautiful waterfall here uh, with the lad. For anyone wondering, because I do get this question quite often when they see the dog. I do have a dog lead, it's him here. But well, he is really well trained, has absolutely no prey drive and has a really good recall. But I always carry a lead because that's what they say you should do. In typical fashion for myself, I spent way too long down the beach. And now looking at the time, it's 9 p.m. Can you believe, I mean, look at this, it's 9 p.m. That's the beauty of documenting uh, my camps on YouTube in the winter when it gets dark at 3 p.m. I'm like, I can't believe I went out camping at 9 p.m. I'm uh, probably going to look at maybe a primitive shelter with a bivvy. The bivvy seems to be the most popular vote. You know, why not? Uh, say a bit of an impromptu one. So let's press on before, uh, before it gets too dark, eh? <laughs> Come. As ready as my outboard, that. Yeah. Oh, Just need a prop and not us. Yeah, you'd be right. Luke Tick Central in here. I've got my tick tweezers with me. Give the lad a check over before we uh, bed down, obviously. He's living the dream. Okay, made it to the woods, found a nice spot. Something I didn't quite think about is uh, we're under quite a heavy canopy here. So actually filming is gonna be quite dark. So I'm just gonna bang the light on, there we go. Going for a bivy camp. Lad's just chewing a stick, I've taken his uh, backpack off. Um, but what I might do is I'll have a look around, see if there's anything I can build, potentially like a bushcraft style shelter. More for the dog than me, I'm quite happy just lying out in the bivy, but he does like to be enclosed. I haven't thought this through. He's too busy trying to grab the sticks. This thing here will be plenty strong, working off the triangle principles and I'll throw a bit of uh, power cord on it as well. So it's not going to protect us from a storm by any stretch, but if, if it was a storm, I wouldn't be in the middle of a carnivorous forest like this. So we'll carry on, stick a bit of foliage on, and it's good, it's just a bit of coziness. Well, that's not freaky at all, is it? Getting proper Blair Witch vibes off that thing. I just realized, Summer solstice last year was when I did a uh, camp in the haunted forest. I think today that's probably my uh, most viewed wild camp. 
But yeah, let's hope for none of that tonight. Jesus. Just putting foliage on now, so we're not far away. <laughs> Some more freakiness. What is that? An animal hasn't made that. What is. Hmm. What is that? I hope I'm not in some weird ritualistic woodland area. Coming together. Got all the foliage from the back. Looks fairly well covered. The wind's coming from sort of this direction, so it's more of a windbreak than anything else. Obviously if it rains, I've got a fair canopy anyway. Uh, probably could have done with putting the lean a bit more tighter, but you know, we, we work with what we can. Okay, so here we go. We're inside, kind of. So I've got the UCO lantern looking lovely. Probably can't see it much with the GoPro light on, but this is a dog bed. One Tigress canine. He's down there. He's got a military wooby to wrap him up in. It's not going to be a cold evening. It's been like 20 degrees today. A foam mat down here. And uh, British Army bivvy, Dracology, pillow, warm hat, and then a sleeping bag, three season birdhouse jobby. So let's just have a quick ski. It's not bad. Too shabby. What are you thinking? Hey, what do you think? Well, I am by no means an authority when it comes to uh, bushcrafting. Consider myself a bit of a noob in this area, but I'm quite happy with that. I'll do the job nicely. He's absolutely tanked. He's already been fed. I fed him while I was making it. I think what I'll do now is I'll uh, fire up the One Tigress wood burning stove, get a bit of a brew on. Because uh, I left the house so late, I had tea. So there's actually going to be no cooking this evening. Dog's on absolute high alert, keeps barking at nothing. Just adds to the spookiness, really. <laughs> what? what is it? Well, go on then, show me where it is, go on, what is it? Go on. See nothing. Oh, bit of new gear to show you, got this new head torch, sun blesser. I think it's more angled at fishermen to be honest, but honestly it is something like 49 grams. Very similar to the BioLite one, except it's got a double Cree. Oh, I'll turn that off. It's got sort of a double Cree LED. I have to say, off the top of my head, it's all right actually. It's got a red light as well for any of you airsofters or people that are concerned with night vision. Just hang that there for now. Gucci. Right, let's get this fire lit. All right, mate, turn that into fire, will you? For anyone interested, I think I mentioned it before, but this is what I like to light fires with. It's like a, a tinder, real light tinder. You can buy it like that, so he's messing around. And uh, BCB, you know, British Army issue matches on the surplus store. There you go, beautiful. Just checked him for ticks, he hasn't got any. Quite easy to see on that coat. Isn't it? So the time is now 10.30 p.m. Look, there's still, still a bit of daylight left. If I was on a beach right now or camping maybe on the mountain or something, I'd have excellent visibility. Wouldn't be using the light, but something nice about the ambience of a woodland area or a forest, so to say. Yeah. Especially when you're with the hound. Yes, dogs' lives are far too short, so I really revel taking them out anywhere and I really like documenting it so I can look back on it one day. I think what I'm going to do now is sit down inside the hut and have a chilled one. So the boy's in now, he will stay like that all night to be fair. Once you get your head down you love it don't you? Hey, I'll just keep topping this up and uh, yeah enjoying the uh, ambience. When I make it a thing now I have to camp every winter and every summer solstice. Okay, so it's about quarter past 11 now. It's finally got dark. Uh, I'm in the bivvy, sleeping bag, etc. 
Still not a big fan of these Trichology pillows. I'm gonna to have to find something new. Uh, the lads down there, and I'm just doing a quick video now because I uh, don't know if it's just my Vimer on or anybody else's, but when he beds down, he snores like crazy. They probably hear him a mile away. It's a good job I'm in a woodland all on my own. Well, <laughs> I think I'm on my own. Uh, so yeah, I'll just enjoy the ambience. There's no midges whatsoever, which is fantastic, but I suppose I'm not really near any rivers or anything, so it's not too bad. And they will respect the smidge. Anyway, unless something crazy happens in the night, I have the GoPro always by my side if anything kicks off. Uh, I'm fairly confident with this shelter, and I've also used the dog lead to secure it even further, that and paracord, so I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, there is a nice breeze, but it's this is stopping it sufficiently. Uh, if it was pissing it down though, I, I think I'd be in trouble based on the angle of this. So like I say, I'm no expert at bushcraft. Okay guys, see you in the AM. Good morning. <laughs> what a night. Slept well. Hang on, let me get up. So yeah, I slept well, but he was on red alert all night. He was kept getting up, wandering around, looking for stuff, which he never normally does when we camp, so I don't know. Hello, sit, sit. Hi, <laughs> you cheeky boy. <laughs> But yeah, he never normally does that, so I don't really know what that was all about. Yeah. But I'm really quite pleased with that. The wind did pick up, uh, and I never felt anything really. It was nice. Didn't rain, obviously. Definitely had some issues with the GoPro last night. Uh, it's the first time I really noticed it, but the hyper smooth was like reacting really badly with the darkness, and uh, it was making things a bit blurry, so I do apologise for that. The sun is up in this lovely forest. Me and the lad can't wait to get out now. So what we'll do is we'll make this up. And uh, obviously I'm a big fan of leave no trace or leave no trees, as some people say. I want to knock this off and put this away. So there we go everybody, leave no trace, even though it is natural, wanted to dismantle it, leave the woodland the way it should be, Looking beautiful. Just packing up, <laughs> proof I did have a tent with me, this is the Lanshan, uh, Lanshan 1, would have been a bit of a tight squeeze with the lad but we'd have figured something out. Well guys, packed away now, ready to go and uh, thanks for joining me on this, what is a very impromptu summer solstice camp which is the longest day of the year for those who don't know i'm sure you all do <laughs> i really enjoyed myself a bit manic getting here so late it would have been nice to get here earlier and set something up maybe build a chair a camp chair out of some wood or something but you know plenty of those sort of things to come and there's loads of people on youtube who are really good at that sort of stuff like east anglian bushcraft if you're into all that he's the boy well yeah me and the lad here come here go get him some food he's got his backpack on although it's considerably lighter because he has eaten most of what was in it. Let's get out of here. See you on the next one, whatever that is. <laughs>